Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Courtney if you don't know me already and I'm from New Zealand. So I love doing videos like this because it's just so interesting. 11 common things that don't exist outside the USA. I don't know what these are going to be actually. I guess we're going to find out. Let me know what you guys think. I, I guess I'm going to confirm or deny if these are true because if we have these in New Zealand I can be like no that's fake news. By the way you guys I just wanted to add that this full original video will not be featured in this video because this is more of a commentary style video but if you do want to go see the original video I'll link it down below where you can see the full version. So without any further ado let's get into it. Coming up first we have medical, medical and lawyer, lawyer ads. ads. Oh, if you're in a lot of countries around the world, you cannot do advertisements for medication, but actually in New Zealand, we can do that. But the lawyer ads are definitely a USA only thing. I only ever see it in the USA, the big billboards on the highways. We do not have that here. Thing you'll often see is adverts for lawyers. This one is weird. I'm not talking about Saul Goodman from Breaking Bad. Believe it or not, that's not just in TV shows. In the USA, lawyers really do advertise on TV. Did you know that 60% of the world's lawyers reside in the USA? And the what? USA is said to be the most litigious country in the world. Oh my this gosh! This means most lawsuits come from inside the USA. Lawsuits expensive. Next up spray is cheese. spray cheese. <laughs> yes, can confirm. The that is spray, spray cheese. cheese. Cheese is eaten a lot in the USA. A in lot. fact, the USA is the world's largest consumer of cheese. But America also loves convenience. I've never actually had spray cheese before. Have you guys had it before? Let me know down below. What does it taste like? Does it not taste fake? Well, it's not real cheese, is it? Well, this bottle says real cheese, so I don't know. Ah, it's, it's so strange for me. And that's why cheese can be bought in a can in the USA. Now, spray cheese See, is actually only- It says no need to refrigerate. What's in there that you don't need a refrigerator? You know what I mean? The preservatives. What? It says no need to refrigerate. I cannot even. 51% cheese. By law, to call a product oh, what it is, it must be at least half, half that product. So that's why so it'll be like 50.1% cheese or something. It's only 51% cheese, not a percentage higher. The other 49% is flavorings, protein, and ingredients. Spray cheese has been big in the USA since the 1960s. And it's even sold in various flavors. For example, cheddar, bacon, and even American fl- I reckon the bacon one would be so good, actually. I'd be down to try the bacon one. Next garbage up disposal. is garbage disposals. What do you mean? I'm sure you've seen in movies oh! and TV shows how Americans throw their food scraps into the sink. You may think, what happens to them? Do they just sit there? Well, no, they go into what's called a garbage disposal. These things actually only exist in the USA. Actually, here in New Zealand, some houses have these. They're called gurglers. I think it's a recent thing, maybe the last 10 years or so that people have gurglers now. Maybe 15 years or so. So it's definitely spreading across the world, this the gurglers. I don't have one in my apartment, but I've definitely been to houses where they do have one and they're so handy. They're the best things ever. Hey, in other countries, food scraps would be put in the kitchen bin. Yes. But why is it that only in America do they use garbage disposals? Well, the reason why is because in many other countries, it's banned. This is because it's not very environmentally friendly. Oh. That's because all of the food is mixed in with the general water waste. This then at some point must be filtered out. Oh! So it wastes a lot of energy, but it is convenient. Next up is college yes, sports. Every country loves sports. sports Whether it's cricket in India, in USA, football in Spain, like or here. baseball in the USA. But only in the USA are they obsessed with college. It, it's not even people are so obsessed, but it, well, people are so obsessed with college football for good reason, but it's just so, it's so big. Like so much money goes into it. So much money is made from it. It's just insane. You would never see that happening here. Sports. Every country loves professional sport leagues and the USA is no exception. But one thing that's different about the USA is that they love college sports as much as regular professional sports. No yeah, other country gets that's behind so colleges strange. as much as the USA does. To me, if you ask people in other countries if foreigner. they can name a college team of any other sport, chances are they can't. <laughs> in other countries, college sports are not broadcast on TV. No. And they also don't make any money at all, as opposed to the millions made in US college sports. In the USA, college football brings in thousands of spectators to fill up stadiums. 
But in other countries, college football games are lucky if they even get the friends and family of the people involved watching. Also, the biggest stadiums in the USA are pretty much all college football stadiums. That's crazy to me! the 15 me. biggest stadiums in the USA, all 15 are college football stadiums. The largest of which being the Michigan Stadium, which can hold over 100,000 fans. Crazy. College. Next up is white teeth. White teeth? Have you ever wondered why all Americans seem to have great white teeth? It seems for some reason people in the USA are obsessed with getting the perfect teeth. And by perfect, I mean- I think it's normal. I don't think that's an American thing. I didn't think it was just an American thing. I think people are like considered to be healthy if their teeth are white. Worldwide? I don't know. In white and straight. Americans actually spend more money than any other country to make sure their teeth are white and straight. But despite all the money that's spent on getting white and straight teeth, that does not necessarily mean they're more healthy. For example, Ooh. the British are often <laughs> mocked for their bad teeth. Yes. But according to a Harvard University study, British teeth are actually more healthy than American teeth. How? Trust me, not all Brits look like Austin Powers. <laughs> One reason why this may be is because in the UK, under 18s can get braces for free. However, in America, they're very expensive oh, and there's a good reason sense. for that. According to a study by New York Mag... Wow, I can't believe in Britain that they can get freaking braces for free under 18. That's crazy. You won't see that happening here. <laughs> Although our dentist is free for under 18 year olds, but not braces. In the USA, good teeth can be the difference between getting a second date and not. Apparently, 38% of Americans will turn someone down for a second date if they have bad teeth. And 60% oh of God. Americans say they perceive someone as smarter if they have straight white teeth. Next up is Late Black Friday. Friday. If you're not from the USA, you may not understand why everyone goes so crazy on this day every single year. Black Friday is the name given to the day after Thanksgiving, which is another American holiday. The term Black Friday came about because of the amount of accidents and sometimes even violence shoppers create. People go crazy for all the deals in the stores and sometimes there are riots just to get into a shop. Black Friday has expanded to other countries, for example, the UK. But yes. video- Yes, Black Friday has expanded to New Zealand as well. And everyone's like, why are we doing Black Friday? We don't even celebrate Thanksgiving. But I think it's like, a, it's like anything to create a sale and a hype, right? So stores have just jumped on their bandwagon of Black Friday and it's like a thing now. Next up is Solo Cups. If you're yes, American, the red this cups. may come as a surprise. The but American red, red Solo cups. cups are seen as a very American thing. In movies and TV shows, everyone drinks out of them at parties. And many tourists actually bring back a red Solo cup to their own countries <laughs> when going to America. That's because it's seen as a piece of American iconography, although many Americans don't realize this. In other countries, people simply drink from beer bottles or glasses, but in the mm -hmm. USA, they use red plastic Solo cups. Next up is <gasps> free yes. refills. When I was dining in the- I love free refills. In other countries, you'd need to pay if you wanted extra drink, but not in the USA. In other countries, if you pay for one drink, that's what you get. And many Europeans say that they find it very weird when they go to the USA and their glass gets refilled, even if they don't ask. But personally, I love it. I'm never gonna turn Same. down a free drink. <laughs> and finally on the list, we have flags. Every country has their flag. But no one shows off their flag more than the USA. So if you true. drive around the USA, I it's like common it. to see people flying the American flag on their homes. Also, mm. many buildings, schools, and businesses will have an American flag. This is something you don't see in any other country. So there we go, you guys. Oh, see, I just love videos like this. Seriously, did any of these surprise you? We've definitely done videos similar to this one before. But again, I just love watching them. I love watching them so, so much. The re free refills thing, I'll never get over. I just freaking love the free refills in the US so, so much. Yeah, and also the flag thing. It's so funny. We play a game called GeoGuessr on my Twitch channel. Pretty much you have to guess where in the world you are. And it's super easy to know when you're in the States because there's always going to be a USA flag somewhere, like flying outside someone's house or like on a business. It's just so easy to know when you're in the USA just because someone's going to be flying their flag, which is good, I think. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video with me. If you do want to, head over to my Twitch. I go live four times a week, 8 p.m. Eastern. It'll be really, really cool. 
cool to get to know you better but thank you guys so much for watching again and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys Mwah.